Kelly Hutchinson, Republican from Texas, is a member of the Appropriations Committee. Uh, and Senator, why was it so important in your, your view for this uh, contraception issue to be pulled out of Medicaid? I mean, the argument had been that if you give people more choices that you might save costs down the road with, uh, with health care and whatnot for unwanted pregnancies. Well, you, this is a stimulus package, and uh, the argument just didn't hold water. There are many things in this stimulus package that are not going to be stimulative, and that's what we're looking at. Uh, the economist that met with us last week said that really none of the spending is going to have the immediate impact that we had hoped of creating jobs, that really it's tax cuts that would make people spend. Secondly, but Senator, what I think... About Go ahead. Go ahead. I'll let you finish. Go ahead. Well, I, I think that, uh, for instance, there are uh, billions that are being put into uh, programs that are not going to create jobs. And I don't think that's what we should be doing right now, running up the deficit uh, when something isn't going to create jobs. Fair point. What about the issue that on the other side that says, well, some of it is, of, of course, directed at trying to create jobs, but a lot of it is directed at trying to save jobs. So specifically, when you give the states more money for education, it means that they have less of an incentive to slash, say, thousands of teacher positions. When you give them money to help with Medicare, it means that the states that have to balance their own budgets won't have to spend as much of their own money to try to pour into Medicare because people are hurting. Well, one of the big problems I have with this bill is that you don't know which states it's going to. There's no allocation. It's just uh, going to be in the agencies and the bureaucracies to make these decisions. And I'm very concerned that we're not going to have any kind of equality according to population, which would be the clearest way to say where this money ought to go, or at least poverty level uh, people or people who have lost jobs in the most places. There should be some criteria here rather than just throwing almost a trillion dollars at an issue with no real uh, decision about where it's going to go or any clarity for us to vote on. Corning today announced uh, plans to cut to 3,500 jobs. Yesterday, several companies said they would cut a total of about to 55,000 jobs. President Obama says Washington needs to act with a sense of urgency. Uh, how important is it for some sort of stimulus plan to be passed quickly? You know, I think a stimulus plan that is would help the private sector is something that would be more important than what I see in this one, which is more government programs and uh, I'm sure there are going to be consultancies, but uh, what we need is to keep those jobs. The 70,000 that were lost yesterday is a huge hit on the families of our country. And we need to be able to have a stimulus package that would help the private sector keep jobs that will be ongoing jobs rather than government programs that are nebulous and, and don't really give clarity uh, where it's going. So you're taxing more or going into debt more, raising, raising the cost of government more, uh, and that's not our idea of, of stimulus that would keep these jobs that are families that are hurting right now. Well, it's certainly a, a terrific a debate and an important one for everybody to have, people who agree with Senator Hutchinson and people who feel that there should be uh, more government spending. In any case, Senator Hutchinson from Texas, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you, David.